Summoner's War 819 update is here, and not only that, but the bigger thing is the first of the 10-year anniversary events is finally announced, and I don't know why I'm saying finally, because the 10th year anniversary is next year. It is still 2023 right now, so it's not like they're late or anything, so I'm not sure why I'm saying finally, but the first of the 10-year anniversary events is announced. It is the 10 time, and they're actually doing 10, uh, 10 different I think they said Summoner's War Festival events, whatever. Uh, but the first of the 10 year anniversary events is the Nat 5 Summit event. You get to summon Nat 5s over the course of like, you keep checking in. And then over the course of like six months, they're spreading this over six months. Actually, six months or is it more than six months it might be seven months that they're spreading this over they're they're really milking this as much as they possibly can they're like we're gonna spread the whole year is gonna be the 10 year anniversary events and then some of the people watching this are like yeah the whole year the whole year bagel the whole year guys <laughs> What you, okay, let's 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 continue with what we're supposed to be talking about uh, on this. So, Nat Five Monsters Summon Event, you summon ten different monsters over the course of six or seven months, not a year, and then at the end of it, you choose one of those monsters. You don't choose all ten of the monsters. Sorry to disappoint you. It's similar to the event that we had before, but now it's ten instead of eight. So, uh, Summoner's War is celebrating its 10th year anniversary in 2024, holding a total of 10 festivals to commemorate this special year. First start is in that 5 Monsters Summon event will be underway. Uh, here's the thing that makes it misleading. Don't miss out on this great opportunity to summon up to 10 Nat 5 Monsters. You're not summoning 10 Nat 5 Monsters, you're seeing 10 different Nat 5 Monsters on a page and you're summoning one. You're not summoning 10 of them, but yet they still say that. Uh, they uh, they clarify it <laughs> later on, but it's just so misleading. Uh, Summoner 10 times 10 festival will be open. Um, yeah, so um, the event goes live after each server update on December 29th. So the time that you're watching this, you're already the event has probably already started. Um, so here we go. 70 total check-in days for the last uh, Nat 5 monster. I thought they said this was a... Uh... Oh no, all of them are over the course of uh, up to June 30th. Look at this monthly check-in schedule. June 30th. That's where I got that. That's where I got the number. Um, so yeah, that's the Net Five Monster event, and then we'll find out what the other nine events are. I expect some of these events to be crazy though, uh, but we'll find out what the other nine events are as they come. So uh, 819 update. The developer note, which is basically, I mean, a couple big things here. Number one is the Punisher grade arena rank, which is <laughs> four years ago. We were talking about this four years ago. Whatever. <laughs> a lot of this update. I'm sorry, guys. I'm dying right now. Hold on. Um, a lot of this uh, update, a lot of this uh, note is all, not all, uh, half of it is probably this, pun this uh, Punisher rank. So over here, you can kind of see the, the toolbar on the right hand, not the toolbar, um, the progress bar on the right hand side. And we're about in the middle and we're still talking about the the Punisher rank. Uh, we also have, it's just a Punisher update, basically. Um, Council has been doing Punisher updates the entire time. They've been punishing us in every update by making it more stressful for us to play the game. Uh, so the Abyssal Punisher script which is going to inflict continuous damage for two turns here and you're not able to use dots which was the best part of beating the bug well, this you just beat it with damage but yeah it's it's rough it's so easy to cheese it out with nora and soth and the mummies which is kind of sad i think that you might be able to cheese this out with the string masters so uh take that into consideration but people are like th the people that are actually farming this that are going to be farming the abyssal punisher script um are not going to be using the string masters because they want just a very fast clear they're like i don't care how much crazy rune quality i've spent all the money on that so i just want a fast clear and that's not going to be the fast clear for you so uh, and then we also have the brand new transmog pathmaker of the deads all the deads <laughs> puppeteer which looks like it could be cool kind of got a dia de los muertos kind of thing 
Uh, did I miss anything? I feel like I missed that because it was so much, but it was all Punisher rank for all of the PvP content. I do like that, uh, that transmog though. And then we also have this coming to the shop. Uh, is the... Um, man, how do I not remember her name? The occult girl. Oh, jeez, man. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. The occult girl. See, the occult girl skin is coming to the shop. So if you got those extra points. And then these are the World Arena Season 28 support monsters. A lot of these are going to be kind of useless. You can play around with them at low ranks, but anything past C1... I mean, if you are good, you can get C1 with some of this stuff. But it's not easy, right? So, because uh, cause they don't have artifacts. Wait, do they? They don't have artifacts, right? Or do they not have grinds? They don't have grinds. I don't remember if they have artifacts or not. They do have artifacts, right? They do have artifacts, but they don't have grinds. Was that the situation? I don't know. But they got terrible stats anyway. So, it's, it's not quite even just about the units. It's about... They don't have the runes to really shine past that. But that's the whole point. Comptos wants you to test them out. And I think it's fine. Uh, I, I wouldn't expect them to give people endgame units anyway. Because then there's no reason to spend money. Which it's good for getting people into the content. Like it, 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 would, it would be fair if they did that. Put everything like endgame runes on, uh, on units and give them to everyone for free. It would be fair. But... It would be terrible for monetization, terrible for revenue. Uh, and it would piss off a lot of people that have spent time and energy and money trying to get these runes. So most of these are not really usable for like the fire pioneer. What are you going to do with him with doo-doo runes? He's got like 130 speed on Swift. Like, dude, what? What? <laughs> That's not going to do anything. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, really, most of these are going to be useless. But at least you can play around with them. Maybe the Dark... Well, the Dark Horse is a Hall of Heroes. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that they're giving us a Hall of Heroes. But it is what it is. The runes the runes make these units not real. But they're, they're only there to be like tested for low-level players so they can kind of get a feel for it, right? So, uh, LD Scrolls coming to the Guild Seal, sh uh, Guild Seal Shop. Uh, arena Pieces coming to... This is kind of odd. I wasn't expecting this. The Arena Shop. Uh, monster Pieces. So that's a nice nice way to get some of the monsters that you might be three stars for fusions or whatever. Because some of these are fusion monsters and they don't have secret dungeons. So that is nice. This is another thing that I'm kind of surprised to randomly see here. Uh, you can check the opponent's monster composition info in advance by tapping the profile image for the battle history. So I thought that was uh, interesting. Well, the battle end uh, history as well, apparently. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, the new transmog packs. Oh, that was just an SWC thing. Uh, new transmog, not new transmog packs. The recent transmog packs are available again. So all of this, the rest of the update is just maybe not the rest of the update, but yeah. Um, transmogs are available again because of course, money, money. Uh, and then we have, speaking of money, money, more packs. Uh, blessings for four stars, blessing for five stars. I'm surprised to see the blessings for four stars actually in a fifty dollar pack. Could be nice, but I don't buy packs anymore because I don't buy packs anymore. Uh, and then the five star blessing with a bunch of scrolls in it for a hundred dollars, and that's basically it. Uh, what is this? Winter Dragon to enhance the transmog's vi uh, visibility. For the most part, it's the Punisher rank, which is kind of nice, and then the fact that we are getting a uh, choose your own Nat Five. Event. I choose any Nat 5, but choose one of the 10 Nat 5s you've summoned event coming back to uh, to the game for the 10th year anniversary. I'm excited to see what the rest of the 10th year anniversary events are. And then maybe by 2027, when Come to Us is done with the 10th year anniversary, because you know they're going to stretch it out. They're going to stretch it out, aren't they? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.